my beautiful viewers how are you all i hope you all are fine and doing well my name is sayeda fatma rizvi and uh, i'm your favorite physicist and youtuber and i bring for you people the very interesting and informative videos of physics my motive over here is to bring for you people the interesting and informative videos of physics and i expect from you people that you people like share and subscribe to my channel and share my videos to the your friends relatives and family members because i want views on my channel so i hope that you understand my point because these uh, videos require much hard work and i expect from you people that you people uh, at least like share and subscribe to my channel so that every physics lover get my videos and please uh, spread these videos worldwide okay so uh, you are my beautiful viewers because i am your favorite physicist <laughs> so that's why okay today our topic is about the young modulus uh, and the young modulus is related to the term stress and the strain okay so we will discuss about the stress and the tensile strain and the young modulus so let's start we should uh, see that what is the relationship between the stress and the tensile strain so what is the young modulus definition uh, the ratio of stress to the tensile strain is called the young modulus okay the the ratio is known as the uh, young modulus so here you people see that we have taken the term tensile strain so tensile strain strain is linked with the length of the body the change in the length divided by the original length okay so the young modulus is dealing with the stress uh, divided by the uh, tensile strain so the ratio of the stress to the tensile strain is called young modulus what is the stress uh, as we have discussed in the previous video the force acting on the unit area of the surface of the body is called the stress so in order to uh, study further about the young modulus we have performed the experiment consider a long bar of length l naught and the cross sectional area a okay we have taken a long bar of length l naught and its area cross sectional area is a let the external force f equal to the weight w stretches at such that the stretch length became l okay we uh, stretch the long bar of length l not then the stretch length of a uh, long bar become l so here you can see that we have uh, taken the diagram of the long bar uh, its original length is l naught and its cross sectional area is a when the force f is applied on this long bar then its stretch length become l according to the hooke's law ratio of the stress to the tensile strain is constant within the elastic limit of the body so uh, hooke's law we will discuss in the next video so according to this law the ratio of the stress to the tensile strain is constant okay within the elastic limit elastic limit means that there should be the elastic limit of the body like limit um, like uh, human beings and um, everything in the universe do some sort of work within the limits if they exceed the limit then uh, it would be dangerous for uh, anything to exceed the limit okay so similarly in the uh, field of physics there lies a limit here we have seen that uh, if we uh, apply the stress on the body so by applying the stress on the body uh, if we great if we apply the stress on the body in the greater way then the strain is produced in the greater way if we apply the if we apply less amount of stress on the body then the less strain is produced so it depend upon the stress how much stress we apply so that the strain would be produced so the ratio of the uh, stress to the tensile strain is constant okay within the elastic limit so stress we should apply on the body within the elastic limits okay it should not exceed the elastic limit 
Young modulus is equal to y is equal to stress divided by tensile strain. So let's discuss about the derivation of this experiment. Um, here we have um, denoted young modulus by y and it is equal to uh, stress divided by the tensile strain where delta L is the change in the length of the rod. Okay. So uh, how much change in the length of the rod is produced? We have seen that the if uh, uh, the rod is stretched, then its length became L and uh, the original length of the rod is L naught. So the change in length of the rod, how much change is produced in the length of the rod? So delta L is the change in the length of the rod. Delta L is equal to L minus L naught. So uh, stress is equal to force per unit area. We have discussed in the previous videos as well. Tensile strain is equal to the uh, L minus L naught divided by L naught. Okay, where L is the um, stretch length, L naught is the original length. So delta L uh, is the change in the length of the rod. So tensile strain is, is equal to the change in the length of the rod divided by the original length, okay? Whereas stress is equal to force per unit area. And we know that Young modulus is equal to stress divided by the tensile strain. So putting the value of the values of the stress and the tensile strain in the formula, we get force per unit area multiply by here so here we take the reciprocal of the length so the original length um, uh, we should multiply the original length original length become in the denominator comes up in the uh, numerator sorry and uh, del l uh, comes in the denominator okay so here we take the reciprocals of these lengths um, i repeat again so young modulus is equal to f uh, divided by a multiplied by l naught divided by delta l where l naught is the original length and uh, delta l is the change in the length of the rod here we have taken the um, reciprocals of the length okay So the final form the, of the Young modulus became y is equal to f l naught divided by e multiplied by delta l. I repeat again, y is equal to f l naught divided by e multiplied by delta l. SI system international unit of Young modulus is Newton per meter square. As you can see, uh, see that the strain has no units so uh, the stress has the units which is uh, force per unit area and the force has the um, has the new unit which is known as the newton and the area has the unit which is the meter square meter per square okay so the unit of the Young modulus is the same as like that of the stress which is Newton per meter square. So this is all about the Young modulus where we have, we have discussed the relationship between the stress and the tensile strain. Uh, we have uh, performed the experiment related to the Young modulus. We have discussed that what is Young modulus and um, we have performed the derivation of the Young modulus. I hope that you people enjoyed my video. Thank you so much and stay tuned for the more uh, updates and for more regular videos of the physics. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and spread my videos more and more so that I get more and more views because these are the informative videos for you people and I'm your favorite physicist and YouTuber. So stay tuned and please enjoy, like and share to my channel. Thank you so much.